Each year, apprentices from all the Lucas engineering schools compete for the Lucas Directors Challenge Shield for the best decathlon team at the annual Lucas Sports at Birmingham. Training starts for the Burnley Engineering School a few weeks prior to the event with a jog down to the running track where the hard work of perfecting the 10 decathlon events takes place. The apprentices are given every opportunity to practice for any of the track and field events of their choice, but after a few weeks of vigorous training, the final team of 10 plus reserves are left to improve their performances in the events for which they have been selected. In addition to the decathlon, a team of four apprentices must be trained for the engineering school's 1500 metres medley relay race. Finally, the dress rehearsal, where a team captain is selected, whose job it will be to lead on Burnley's team at the opening parade. Jenny Benson is turned round, Brad Stewart, you don't want to go again. Brad Ackman is a bit. The Friday morning before the sports, where the team assembles at the training centre to travel by coach to Birmingham. The final destination, the Europa Lodge Hotel, but not before a busy day in Birmingham rehearsing the decathlon parade with the other teams.
The big day arrives, with the team there nice and early to relax and enjoy themselves at the sports ground. Amongst the many activities and sideshows, there are a variety of sporting and novelty events being competed for by many Lucas employees from all over the country. Lunch is available for the teams before the main highlights of the afternoon. The 1500 metres medley relay race is the engineering school's first event. The winning team will receive the director's cup. At last the moment arrives. The decathlon teams assemble for the parade. Last year's winners lead on the teams who will compete in the 10 decathlon events, each event carrying a point system to determine the winning team. The competition opens with the four field events, each competitor having three attempts to produce his best. The first, second and third in each event receive the appropriate medal. Burnley gaining second place in the high jump. The first track event is the 100 metre sprint in which Burnley gains fourth place.
The 200 metre sprint follows, with Burnley gaining third place. The 400 metres is next, with hopes for a first place for Burnley. A good run, and Burnley received the winner's medal from Sir Bernard Scott. The start of the 800 metres, and hopes again are riding high. Result, 800 metres, first, Dick Fielding, Burnley. Second, N. Williams, Cumbra. Sir Bernard again congratulates a Burnley apprentice on the winner's rostrum. The longest race of the day, the 1500 metres. After four gruelling laps, Burnley achieve a good second place. Speed White, Gillingham. Second, R. Menzies, Burnley. <laughs> the final event of the decathlon is the 400 metres obstacle race. Burnley's exhausted competitor gains a well-earned second place. <laughs> With all the decathlon events now over, Mr Law, the engineering school manager, congratulates his team manager and team on achieving second place out of the nine competing engineering schools. The team can now relax, watching a display by the White Helmets motorcycle team. The finale is a free fall parachute display performed by the Red Devils. The lads prepare for home, vowing to do even better next year. How quickly the year passes and how well is that vow fulfilled? with Burnley winning the Director's Challenge Shield. We got him, Dad. It's congratulations all round from all those involved. to crown an already successful year 
four from the Burnley team also win the 1500 metres medley relay race to take the Directors' Cup. A picture for the local press. The lads get back to work. The school has now set a standard for all future Burnley apprentices to try to equal.